headline TikTok we got to react to here tonight is of this girl saying that if you have an American flag in front of your house, not just you're probably a racist, but it literally equals the Confederate flag. OK, we want to react to that. But first, for context, I think we need to react to we did. We've done this one before, but this was from a few days ago of the Australian girl in the U.S. saying that America has too many American flags in it, because how dare the country of America have a bunch of American flags? Uh, let's let's react to this and then we'll get into the headline TikTok tonight. OK, I'm just going to say it. There are too many American flags like they're on houses, they're on cars. Solomon couch cushions. Like, I don't know who's making these American flags, but they'd be making a bloody fortune. And like, you're the only country that I know that does this. Like, the only time I think I've ever seen an Australian flag is like on the Harbour Bridge. Could not tell you what it looks like. Like, I know it's like blue and it's got some stars on it, but I, I think I could draw the American flag from memory. Like, I think I could make a bloody sculpture out of it. That's how many times I've seen it. It's enough. Let's pull back on it, okay? Let's stay humble. Okay, so there you have it. There, you know, she comes to America and is very mad that she sees the American flag. I don't know what she expected to see. Probably the pride flag, let's be real. I don't know what she expected to see, but yes. Of course, how dare America have the American flag in it, right? And, and how, how dare... Uh, the fact that this foreigner, this person who's not even from the U.S., the fact that they don't like the American flag, how dare the United States not conform to her, you know, thinking that there's too many flags everywhere, okay? And by the way, you know, I always hear this every time they say them. Oh, no other country but America has their flag everywhere like this. And, you know, maybe that's true in, say, Western Europe, because... There's even less national pride in Western Europe and places like Canada than there is in the U.S. these days. And look, the U.S. doesn't even have much to brag about these days, but there's still less. But, you know, I, I, I'm going to venture to imagine a lot of the Eastern countries, let's just say, I virtually guarantee you in China, there's Chinese flags everywhere. Or, or, or if not the flag, because part of it, that's how Americans express ourselves is the flag. But if not the flag you know, wh whatever they have, right? The Mao Zedong poster, whatever, okay? And I know people are going to say, so you're saying America's authoritarian too. No, it's just the point of a strong country is going to, in some sense, have a, a an expression of dignity and honor and pride in that country, right? So, you know, it's, it, and, and I have to imagine America's not the only one, okay? Any of you people in other countries watching this, uh, at least outside of Australia, because apparently, you know, it's very evil in Australia to have the Australian flag. Do you see the your flag of your own country in those places? Because that seems to make sense to me. I think if you go to any country, not just the United States, any country, it shouldn't be a shock to see the flag of that country. Uh, but anyways, that's sort of the preliminary introduction to the video we're going to react to tonight which is this whole the american how dare americans fly the american flag trend is getting worse because here's a girl just straight up saying that as you can see american flag equals confederate flag okay so if you have an american flag in your house on your porch whatever it is uh you're straight up a apparently a kkk member let's take a listen here folks so i'm walking around in a racist white neighborhood and i noticed how if i see a pickup okay first off just gonna I, I don't know what's going on with that voice uh i i think this person is a okay just oh, whatever so i'm walking around <laughs> in a racist white neighborhood and i noticed how if this person is a child of yeah okay if i see a pickup truck with an american flag it's basically like the Confederate flag. Like every time I see an American flag, I cringe because the American flag is like the new Confederate flag, right? <laughs> Even she's like, uh, okay. <laughs> Even the black girl. It's safe like... to say, if you see a pickup truck with the American flag, that person is a racist. Okay, and if you have an American flag in front of your house, you're probably a racist. You're probably a racist. I mean, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Other than to a degree, it does give you an idea of how the far left and honestly, let's just say that by this point, the mainstream left, it's all the same, uh, views America itself. 
right? This is sort of the basis of the whole critical race theory thing is that America is foundationally racist. And if you uh, in any way have the flag out that, that that yourself is racist, if you celebrate America, if you celebrate the country, that itself is racist. So you, you guys got that? If you have the American flag out, you are racist, which of course means that I don't know when the White House has the American flag on top. I'm sure, you know, that means Joseph Robert Brandon is a real demo KKK rat, of course, right? This is this is just so true. This is so true, right? Uh, again, don't even know what to say to that. Anyways, continuing here on our trend of uh, literally everything is racist, which in fact, maybe we should later in the stream, since like I say, there's not a lot to talk about news-wise, maybe later in the stream, we should do the little experiment where you Google everything that's racist, okay? Because if you Google, you guys can try it right now. Google any household item, you know, milk, coffee, uh plates dinner plates tvs just google blank is racist you'll, you'll find literally everything but here you go uh new one coming for you guys if you're white and you liked jason aldean's try that in a small town song you are inherently racist so if you you know listen to a song about small town values and how you know you should defend yourself from violent criminals and sorry I, oh, my bad uh if you do want to defend yourself from crime and and you know want to live in a safe community of course that is a construct of white supremacy which we all know of course uh let's take a listen here Oops. and um a quick little psa and um i've been meaning to make this for a while um about that and it's such a bad song y'all objectively the Jason Aldean song, Try That in a Small Town, is, is, is really bad. But anyway, if you're a white person and you identify with it and you want to defend it and be vocal about the fact that you like it and, and you understand it, and in the face of black people telling you that the song is racist and the video is incredibly racist. Are you a black person? Why are you speaking for black people? I guess she is. You want to scream that it's not racist. Whether a song is racist or not, that makes you inherently racist. How? Just a little food for thought. And before Actually, that that is actually a perfect demonstration of the left's modern definition of racism, quote unquote, contemporary definition, I should say. And that's why I don't even take the words. I don't even take the word or the concept seriously. It's it's not even it's it's it just what even is it? Oh, apparently, if you have an opinion as a white person that contradicts with the opinions of certain black people, then you are a racist. OK, well, then. All right. So what what does it mean then to be racist? That's why I don't care when people call me racist. I don't have this defensive. No, I have a but, but how could I be right? I'm just like, what, you're, 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 you're saying something to me that has no meaning. Your words have no power over me, okay? And this, this, is, this is true, because th that, that's apparently a certain definition of racist. If, if you, as a white person, disagree with a black person, then you are racist. Okay, well, all right. <laughs> what, do you want us to do? what do you want us to do about it? Truly. Or y'all go lighting up my comments with the I don't know what I'm talking about. You don't. The not me, not all, and all the other standard shit. Just stop and think the logic through. Anyway, these are just my thoughts. Y'all, go have a day. Think the logic through of what? The logic through of if you disagree with a black person, that means you're racist. What, what logic are you <laughs> referring to? Think it through. Okay, let's think it through. All right. This song never mentions race. It mentions crime. Okay. The song is about defending yourself against crime and the kind of small towns not tolerating crime and mass violence and mass lawlessness and people fighting each other and killing each other. And so, on no grounds is the song, at least in our eyes, Right? On no grounds does the song really have anything to do with race, because it's about small town values. It's about the fact that if anyone of any skin color in a small town tries to do a lot of the stuff you can get away with in the big cities, okay, and then there you go. However, what I would point out is that if, 
if somehow saying you're going to defend yourself against crime, if saying a small town community does not tolerate crime, if not tolerating crime is racist, okay, <laughs> if racism means you're anti-crime, you don't like crime, you don't particularly care for criminals running amok in, in, in the city, and if that is somehow, anti so that is somehow racist and anti-black, then, <laughs> then I, I don't know. I, those are her words, not mine. This is true. This is true, okay? I, I, I don't know. I don't know what to say at this point, okay? The, you read the lyrics of the song, it never mentions race mentions crime all right mentions crime so if talking about crime and being against crime is racist then i think the left just spoke for themselves okay they they, they just spoke for themselves we didn't say it they said it and then you know that what else can you say about it <laughs>